Sarah from Margin here. Today, we are going to go over our EMA crossover bot, which is a great choice for catching trends, either bullish or bearish. So, how does this bot work? Well, here we see a buy was triggered because the short term EMA, the white line, crosses the long term EMA line from below. And when the reverse happens, the short-term EMA line crosses the long-term EMA line from above, so our bot will sell like we see here. Okay, let's go ahead and create a new bot to go over some more details. By clicking on our Add New Strategy icon, choosing an EMA crossover strategy, and let's give it a name, EMA15, and Create. Of course, you can choose other size candles as well, but our example shows us a one day view. First, we need to allocate some funds to the bot by using this slider to set the amount you want the bot to trade with. Next, we see our smoothing interval parameters. These define the number of past candles taken into account for the calculation of the long-term and short-term EMA. Like for the Bollinger Bands, the higher the value, the more candles are used for calculating each point on the chart, making it smoother for higher values. EMAs with high smoothing intervals are used to represent long trends, while EMAs with smaller smoothing intervals are strongly influenced by short-term market changes. Under fine tuning, we see the bot is set automatically to a default reaction time, which means only finished candles are used for the buy or sell signals. The current candle where the crossover occurred is not used unless you explicitly choose immediate mode. And after selecting this, we see this warning. And the reason we see this here is because many crossover events can occur as a candle is forming which could result in the bot making a loss. Additionally, both buy and sell offsets are available for more control. So now these become the trigger point for the short-term EMA. There are also different options available for the calculation of our short-term and long-term EMAs. Close, open, low, high, and some more that are some great options. Stop loss is also available on both sides, which you can adjust from within the chart or from within the parameters. And this parameter tries to ensure the minimum gain that the bot will achieve with trading fees taken into account. But note, as this bot places market orders, this gain cannot be guaranteed. Lastly, you can choose how you want to start the bot, with a buy, a sell, or any, which is a good choice when you aren't sure which way the market will move. All right, let's take a look back at our bot that's been running. We can use our ruler to see that this bot trade made an effective gain of about 7.3%. We see here that the white line crossed the red line from below, indicating a beginning uptrend. Shortly after, the bot triggered a buy. We can now see the uptrend continued with a short period of stagnation up until here. Then the white line crossed the red line from above indicating a downtrend and triggered a sell. The market keeps going down and down all the way to here, where the bot then buys again after crossing the line. There are two reasons why a trade may have crossed, but not where you might have expected it to. We can see both reasons in this trade. One, the order is displaced from the crossover event horizontally, 
or in time because it is in default mode. So we wait for the next candle to form. The other case happens when the bot has to overcome the spread, causing a vertical displacement. In this trade, we can see that it happened at a higher than expected price due to the order book spread. All right, as you can see, the EMA bot performs especially well on strongly trending markets, where a trend persists over a sufficient amount of time and causes the prices to rise or fall by quite a big percentage. For non-trending markets, we recommend our Margin Maker or Bollinger Band bot. Thanks for watching everyone and happy trading.